Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. Today I'm taking a look at the first offering from Second Chance, part of their mech series. This is the SC-01 repair station. This is basically the trailer which is designed to go with the Hasbro Autocara Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. The box is the same on both sides, and on the bottom of the box it tells us where we can apply the stickers. This is aimed at ages 10 plus. And here it is out of the packaging. All stickered up. I actually done a pretty good job with the stickers this time. They're not all on the... <laughs> um, it's okay. Uh, the trailer itself feels very much like the G1 Optimus Prime trailer. It's kind of got that solidish feel to it. Uh, it's a nice kind of matte grayish color. Paint applications seem pretty okay. Uh, it's not wowing me. A roller has this very unique design to him, but I really don't like him. He feels very, very cheap. He feels like one of these kind of cars that you put together when you get them out of a cracker. Uh, just two layers of plastic screwed together. I, I just don't don't like him. The trailer itself is nice. Yeah, if you want a nice trailer for your Evasion Optimus Prime, it's going to scale nicely. Uh, I may have put the stickers on a little bit wonky. Uh, it does roll quite successfully. Uh, the plastic on the trailer itself uh, is nice. It's going to withstand the test of time. These sections that come out, uh, which would normally stabilise the trailer, um, but for some reason they don't. We have this flip down section at the front by the fifth wheel section. Uh, not really sure why they've chosen to do it like that. Uh, these have always been the part which supports the trailer. And here is Roller. Um, do you see what I mean? It's just, it's just something that just doesn't feel... Um, very well done. The trailer is made of a much thicker plastic consistency than what the actual figure is. The base section here really does feel like cracker plastic, which is such a shame. Uh, you have this extendable hose section which can come out, get all the way down. The wheels kind of roll. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't like Roller. I don't like him at all. Here is the trailer attached to Evasion Optimus Prime. I was initially concerned that it wasn't going to be big enough because it's not the largest of trailers, it's probably about 8 inches long. But it actually looks pretty good. It looks like it scales pretty darn well. The actual connection itself could be better. It's just these two tabs here and they basically rest in these two holes at the back here. There's nothing to secure that firmly into place. It literally just rests alongside. I personally think they've missed a trick there, not having it been able to connect to the Classics Prime as well. And a lot of people have got versions of this mold, and yes, my roof is in storage. Uh, there's just no way of having it connect to that. I think you know, it's actually a fairly good size and it would look pretty darn good with it. Like most of Prime's trailers, the back door's open and you can slide down the ramp. The ramp is actually nicely hidden in there and that's actually a nice ramp giving us full access to the trailer. Now, Roller fits in there nicely, but I think you're going to struggle to get anything bigger really than your Legends or Legion class figures in there. It's not enough space in there to get a Deluxe in. I mean, it may be really tight. Uh, There's just not really a great deal of space. Now, this is pretty much where the trailer kind of reprises itself and where it really works. Being that kind of repair bay station for Optimus, you get like this little laser thing that comes for Roller as well. It's actually the best bit about Roller. Uh, I should give him credit. He's designed nicely. Um, it's just... It's just a very thin plastic. I do like this little laser bit which can just shoot up and it's kind of repairing Optimus's chest. We've got a lot of articulation here in the actual repair section which comes down. It's a nice sleek design. It's different. It's not the same as what we'd be getting with the G1. It's not 
even remotely trying to be that G1 representation. We do have the claw section that comes down. It's hinged here and here and also again at the top here. We've got these nice piped sections up the back here. And detail wise, inside the trailer, it's actually pretty nice. It looks very Cybertronian in there. It's very futuristic with cogs and gears. And we do have two different shades of plastic on the inside there. Not entirely sure why they've gone for that approach. I think it's just because it's a thicker plastic on the base there. But yes, the trailer as a repair base station, it actually works pretty well. And it works quite nicely with your other figures as well. Basically, if your figures of a kind of a Voyager scale down through to the deluxe, then this station's going to work quite nicely as part of a display piece. I actually think it works a lot better as a repair bay than it does as the trailer. Uh, even Roller can play his part. And it does make me feel a lot happier about the purchase. So there we have it guys. It's not the biggest station in the world. Uh, we've got the Masterpiece MP10 trailer there. And we've, we've got, got the oversized MPP10 trailer behind it. But if you're looking for a trailer for your Evasion Mode Optimus Prime that turns into a repair bay, then this definitely ticks your boxes. Downside, I don't like Roller. He feels cheap compared to the rest of the build. But that being said, when you have it in the repair bay station, and if you're using it for display, it really does look the part, especially with Roller having a little laser that comes out and helps repair your prime. If you do like this and want to purchase it, then please click the link in the description below and that will take you through to Robot Kingdom's sale page. And until next time, from myself and the SC-01 repair station, my second chance, goodbye.